In this video, we're going to talk about the stages of calving and when to intervene to help a cow calving. There are three stages of calving, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to talk about the first two. For this video, we're going to use a simulator cow to demonstrate uh, how to check a, a cow during calving. Um, the sta first stage of calving is when the cervix opens to allow the calf to pass into the birth canal. Uh, the clinical signs that a cow will show of stage one of calving are she'll become restless, she may seek isolation, she may raise her tail head. A cow should really be in a calving pen by the time she shows those signs. We should be moving cows to the calving pen when they're bagged up with colostrum and their pin ligaments have slackened. Um, if we only start moving them once they have uh, shown the signs of the first stage of calving, then that can actually delay how long it takes for the cow to calve because of the stress of movement. Once the cow is in the stage one, we'll be monitoring her every couple of hours to see when she progresses to the second stage of calving. The second stage of calving is when the uterus starts to actually contract and the cow starts to have abdominal contractions to force the calf out the birth canal and out into the world. Um, we should be, once we see the water is broken and she has those uh, contractions, we should give a cow two hours to to birth the calf by itself before we intervene. In a heifer, we can give her three hours as they take slightly longer. If we were to see something like a head coming by itself or only one leg coming, we would intervene earlier and put the cow into the calving gate here so that we can handle her safely and check what's going on. And if the cow takes longer than two hours, then we'll put her into the calving gate and have a feel of her. And at that stage, if she needs assistance, we'll provide assistance. So this cow um, in this scenario has been calving for greater than two hours. So at this stage, we think that um, it's appropriate to handle her, to check that everything is coming right and to see if there's been any issues. So if you're going to be handling a cow, um, it's important that you have the correct equipment. So you need PPE. So long sleeve gloves are, are very important um, and uh, preferably uh, a uh, calving gown as well. Uh, they'll keep you clean, stop you from potentially picking up any uh, zoonotic diseases. And then uh, you're also going to need uh, lubricant so that you're able to um, slide into the cow's birth canal uh, easily uh, and a bit of paper towel to clean up her back end so that if there's any fecal contamination or anything like that, that you're not um, uh, contaminating her uh, reproductive tract. And then we also have a calving jack and calving ropes here as well. Uh, the calving ropes are in warm water to loosen them up so that um, if we need to use them, that they're ready to go. So now I'm just going to clean off the um, back end of the cow so that uh, we're not going to contaminate her when we handle her. And then I'm going to apply some obstetric lube to my gloved hand so that I am able to easily insert my hand and then I'm gently going to pass my hand into the vagina and slowly progress it forward till I find the, the head and legs of the calf. So in this case, I've got a head and two legs coming. It just uh, in this scenario, it appears that this cow is just not able to pass, but there appears to be a good amount of room, so she's probably maybe a bit tired or something like that. So at this stage, I think um, because the two hours are up, we're going to apply the calving ropes and um, give her a little bit of help to be able to pass this calf. So we've got our two clean calving ropes here. And we're going to apply them to the calves legs. So and then we're going to just apply some gentle traction to see if this calf will come. And yes, the calf is coming. And in this case, we don't need the jack. The calf is just going to come. So And in, a, in this case, we have a, a pad under the calf, but in um, 
you know, a normal calving pen, we'd want a deep bed of straw underneath the calves so when they uh, come out, they have a soft landing. In the next video, we'll talk about how to deal with more difficult calvings where a calf might be in the wrong position or the calf might be quite big or the cow's birth canal could be quite small.